Hey, this is Cody Seip here. Going to lead you through a level, level one workout with my friend and colleague, Dan Ritchie. He's going to be my subject for today. So remember, get a good warm up in. You should have already done that before you start this and pace yourself. Okay, we're going to try to keep it slow for you so you can follow along, do this, uh, all these exercises appropriately, but you are in control here. So you make sure that you go at your own pace, take rest as you need it. If you need more rest, that's fine, you go ahead and take it, but you'd like to get through all this uh, routine all together. Okay, so we're gonna start right off the bat with a split squat. So, Dan is gonna put one foot in front of the other. If you need a chair uh, or a couch or anything that's very stable to hold on to just for balance, then go ahead and use that. So with one foot in front of the other, he's just gonna dip down, come right back up. Okay, he doesn't have to go all the way to the floor. If you can go all the way down and come all the way back up, that's great. Okay, but probably you're just going to dip down a few inches, whatever's comfortable, and try to keep your posture up nice and tall. Okay, so we're going to go through 12 repetitions with this leg forward, and then we're going to switch legs. Okay, so we've got a few more here. That's it. Okay, we'll switch legs now. We're going to go through 12. Okay, posture up nice and tall. So holding on for balance, if you need to kind of push on your leg a little bit, you can, but still we want to try to make the lower body work as much as possible without helping it. So even if you have your hands out for balance, use them for balance only. Try not to push up on them. That's it, looking good. There we go. So we're going to go straight into a sleeping dog, front and back. So what Dan's going to visualize is there's a dog lying on the ground in front of him. He's got to step over it. So he's going to lead with his right foot and step over. Then he's going to pull his left foot up and over as well. Now he's going to take his left foot back over behind him, step over the dog, and that's it. And do that one more time. Right forward and then left. And now left back and right back. So now let's switch over to leading with the left leg. So left leg forward. Okay, so for this, obviously you might need something for balance. In addition, you can use whatever kind of dog you want. Use a little chihuahua. If you can't get your legs off the ground a little bit, hey, work your way up to a Great Dane. The higher that you can step and maintain that control and balance, the better. So this is something that we definitely want to keep working on. Okay, so now let's grab our dumbbells and we're going to do a two-arm standing lateral raise. Okay, so starting in a standing position, feet about shoulder width apart, and you're just raising both arms straight out to the side okay, at the same time. So we're working shoulders here, but remember, we always want to work posture as well. So you should be in a nice balanced position. Okay? And you see as Dan raises those dumbbells, his body isn't moving around anywhere. He's maintaining a nice, good upright posture, good core stability there. Excellent. Looks good. Go through 12 repetitions here and relax. All right, so we've gone through the first triple set, the first three exercises that we do all in a row. Okay, take a little breather. Okay, if you need to rest, go ahead. But we're gonna go right into our next three exercises, our next triple set that we're gonna do. You need your tubing for this. So we're gonna make sure your tubing is mounted somewhere solid, about chest height, maybe in a door frame or around uh, a rail, a banister or something like that, okay? So we're gonna start with a tubing row. Okay, so make sure your tubing is secure. Okay, so Dan's got it in both hands. Okay, he's gonna squat down just a little bit for stability. And now we're gonna do an alternating tubing row. So we're gonna have one arm pull and relax, the other arm pull and relax. So we're doing 12 each arm, 24 repetitions in total. So as he pulls back, we wanna squeeze those shoulder blades, okay, while maintaining good upright posture. Okay, so I'm feeling those shoulder blades moving, and you should too, you should feel that squeeze in your back every time you pull backwards with your arms. Your elbows should be tracking close to your body, okay, not flailing out to the side, and those palms should be facing one another, okay? Thumbs to the ceiling. Excellent job. There we go, getting through all our 24 repetitions. Remember to continue to breathe appropriately while you maintain good posture. That's it, good job. So now we're gonna go back to the sleeping dog but now this time, we're going to do a side step over the dog. So we're going to get beside the dog, okay, a little imaginary friend here, okay, step over both legs, okay, make sure that you're lifting both legs. The big challenge that most people have with this exercise, either forward or sideways, is they want to drag that back leg or that second leg through, okay. The dog doesn't like it and it's not going to help your balance. 
So you want to make sure that you're stepping over as big as you possibly can with good control. Okay, good job. Okay, now we're going to go back to the tubing and we're doing alternating chest press exercise. Okay, so now the tubing is going to be anchored behind you. Okay, your palms are going to be down to the ground, thumbs facing one another again. Kind of get into kind of a, a, a little bit of a squat semi-lunge position to make sure you're stable and it's not going to pull you over. And now you're going to do right arm, left arm. Okay, just alternating back and forth. <clears throat> That's it. So 24 repetitions in total. We will always remind you that the reason that we're doing these exercises in these different positions, especially standing, is because we want you to get good core and trunk stability and control. That's what we're trying to achieve while you're also working the chest, shoulder, and your arm muscles. Okay, so Dan, about halfway through, switch legs so that he can uh, work both legs equally, okay, and he doesn't get uh, too fatigued out on one side. All right, good job. <clears throat> All right, take another little rest, catch a drink of water, okay, before we do the next one. Remember, just do this at your own pace. Continue to follow along, working through this at the best you can, okay? So now we're going to keep going with the tubing, but now you want the tubing anchored high, like above a door jam, somewhere that's as, as kind of far above your head uh, that you can get it, all right? We're going to do alternating pull downs. So we're going to get back over to our tubing. Okay, getting a little bit of a semi-squat position again, so feet are wide. We're just squatting down a couple of inches, and now he's going to pull one arm at a time, okay? But now his elbows are tracking a little taller, okay? So we're not keeping the arms in close to the side. They're actually coming out away from our body a little bit. So we're getting a, a different angle here, working on a slightly different back muscle, okay? But at the same time, maintaining good postural control. Now, if you get through some of these repetitions and your legs are just tired and you need to stand up and relax a little bit, then go ahead, okay? But then get right back down into it as soon as you can, alternating those arms, 24 all together. All right, good job. Keep it going. Remember to adjust your resistance, okay? Get closer if it's a little bit too hard. Pull back away if it's a little bit too easy for you. Okay, so now we're going to do heel to toe rocks. Make sure that you have something beside you for balance control if you need it, because you probably will on this one. Okay, so this is a little bit more dynamic where you're trying to come up as far as you can on your toes and then rock back as far as you can on your heels without taking a step forward or backwards. So the first couple of times you do it, you might not be able to go very far, you might not feel very confident in it, you might fall back and that's okay. Okay, you're gonna find kind of where, how far you can go and still maintain control. So we're working on some postural control, control strategy here that's very important for balance. Okay, that's it. All right, now we're going to move over to side step ups. So that's it. So you want to go ahead and uh, get by your stair or, or at least some stool that's very solid and have something to hold on to. Okay, you really want to watch your balance on this one. Just don't do it out in the open if you have any balance concerns whatsoever. Okay, so this is a step up. Now we're doing it from the side. Okay, so now you're just going to keep that right leg up on the step and then step up, tap your left foot on there and right back down again. Okay, so stepping to the side in this way is a little bit more difficult than just stepping straight ahead and also works some different muscles. So we're really trying to work on that lateral strength and lateral mobility. Okay, that's looking really good. We want 12 of these. Now we're going to sw switch around to the other side. You can just turn around on your step. Okay, that's it. Now, what you might find is that one side is a lot stronger than the other, has much more endurance. And that's, that's very common to, for us to have those imbalances in, from our side. A lot of times we favor one side over another without even realizing. So it's very important that you work on both sides and that you try to get them up to equal strength. That's it, going for 12 each side. Okay, now we're gonna go down to the floor, so make sure you get a, a mat or soft carpet to lie on. Uh, you don't wanna do this on a mattress or a couch, that just, uh, they're too unstable, but you need to at least have something soft for some comfort. So we're gonna start on our backs. <clears throat> okay, legs are bent, okay, feet are flat on the ground. 
Okay, and we're going to do a bridge. And with this bridge, we're going to change the arms a little bit. So I want Dan to put his arms kind of together over his head. Keep those arms up while we do the bridge. So he's going to push his hips up to the ceiling, drive his heels into the ground, hold that straight uh, bridge position for five seconds, continuing to breathe, and then back down. Good. So drive those heels in the ground. Let's go up again for one, two, three, four, five, relax. We're going to do that one more time. Up and hold. One, two, three, four, five, and down. Excellent. Okay. So now we're going to move over, uh, flip over on the hands and knees in the quadruped position. Okay. And we're going to do a little bit of a, a bird dog here. So in this position, okay, we're going to work some more trunk and core stability. We want Dan's uh, back and trunk to main, maintain stability or, or, or not move while we go through this exercise. So what he's going to do is he's going to raise his left arm. Then he's going to move his arm out to the side, back to the front, and then back down. So that's about five seconds, okay? So now let's go right arm, right arm out, out to the side, to the front, and back down. So notice as he did that, nothing moved throughout his shoulders or, or trunk, okay? We want to keep that. Okay, now let's do that same thing with the legs. Now the legs are going to be a smaller movement. You can't move your leg out to the side very much. So we just want to move it out slightly to the side without changing our hip position too much. Back in and down. That's it. Up again, let other side, and out just a little bit, in and down. Now let's go back to the arms. Let's go back to the arms one more time. Arm up, out to the side, to the front, and down. Left, right arm, to the side, front, and down. Good job. Now go back to the leg, side, front, and down, side, front, and down. Good job. This is a really good exercise for you to do. And if you found that this was a little bit challenging for you, definitely something you need to work on. But at the same time, if it was easy, then you can work even on your own on holding that longer and building that uh, endurance and stamina up in those uh, core postural muscles. All right, so remember, Finish up with your functional flexibility routine, and we will see you next time.